everyone, I'm Shannon, one of the naturalists here at Calvert County Parks. We're here at King's Landing Park along the beautiful Patuxent River. Many people come here to go fishing or kayaking or head out um, hiking with their dogs. But I want to show you another cool thing that you can do here at the park. I'm standing near the pool parking lot at the beginning of our orienteering course here at King's Landing Park. Orienteering involves using a map and a compass to find predetermined checkpoints or control markers along the course, uh, much like this one here. This is what ours look like at King's Landing Park. There are four by four posts that's painted white and orange and has numbers on them. Some courses are a lot more challenging than others, um, involving navigation through rough terrain in really remote areas. This one at King's Landing Park is perfect for beginners, including elementary school students. None of our 11 control markers are in remote areas of the park, so you don't have to worry about getting lost while you're trying to find the control markers. Uh, but adults and teens can make this course here at King's Landing a little bit more challenging by timing themselves and seeing who can get through the course the fastest. Um, a lot of orienteering courses require a special orienteering compass so that you can adjust for declination, which is the difference between magnetic north and, um, and true north. But there's no declination adjustment needed for this course. It's already done for you on our map. And that makes it a lot easier for beginners to use too. Um, if you've never used a base plate compass, I would recommend uh, watching our other video, How to Use a Base Plate Compass, that you can find on our calvertparks.org website. You can find multiple other um, compass videos on the internet too. For the rest of this video, I'm going to show you how to use a base plate compass with the King's Landing orienteering map to find the 11 control markers that are here in the park. Control markers 12 and 13 are not shown on the map that you can download from our website that you can print out on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Um, so I'm actually gonna use markers 12 and 13 as an example for you. So that way you can have fun finding the other 11 markers that are on this map. The vertical lines on an orienteering map usually show true north. However, this particular map that we use at this park actually shows magnetic north so it has already accounted for declination so you don't have to do that and you can just use a simple base plate compass um, and again it makes it great for beginners to use this okay let's take a look at the old king's landing park orienteering map on this map control marker 13 and 12 are listed as a and c a being 13 and C being control marker 12. So the first thing I will do is line up my base plate compass so that the edge of the plate is lined up, uh, makes a line between A and C or 13 and 12. So that I am going in the direction, let's say I want to go from 13 to 12, which is also C. I wanna make sure that my direction of travel arrow, arrow is pointing from 13 to 12, okay? So you wanna do that first. And then you're going to turn your compass housing so that, see these little black lines in here? Those are are your orienting lines. You want to make sure, sure those orienting lines are parallel with the north lines on the map. Okay, so we want to make sure those are lined up. So I'm going to line one of those orienteering lines exactly up with this line on the map. Okay, now the other important thing you want to do is make sure and this is important, you want to make sure that north points north on the map, okay? So this is north, so we want to turn our compass housing so that north is up at the top, okay? So not only do we want to make sure those orienting lines are parallel with the north-south south lines on the map, we want to make sure that north is at the top and south is at the bottom. Okay, so we have our lines, orienting lines lined up with the line on this map. 
Now all we have to do is look at our degrees that are lined up with the direction of travel arrow. So control marker 12 should be 140 degrees southeast of control marker 13 or A on this map. All right. And then uh, let's put it to the test. We'll actually go outside here and um, give it a try. Oh, wait, I forgot one thing. Um, many maps give you a scale. Let's, let's make this a little bit more visible. There we go. Okay, so there's our scale to figure out roughly how far control marker 12 is from control marker 13. So if we look at our scale here, 60 millimeters, six centimeters or 60 millimeters is equivalent to 300 meter, actual meters. Okay, so 60 millimeters on the map equals 300 meters. So I've already done a little bit of math here to make this go a little bit faster. So in order to figure out how many meters represent one millimeter, I took 300 divided by 60 and got five meters per every millimeter on your little ruler that's handily right there on your compass, okay? So then I'm gonna go up here to A and C. Okay, A and C, and it's roughly about 13 millimeters on this paper between control marker A or 13 and control marker C, which is also known as control marker 12. Okay. And then we take 13 multiplied by five and we get 65 meters. So it is roughly going to be about 65 meters from control marker 13. So again, control marker 12 will be about 65 meters from control marker 13. Here we are at control marker 13. So let's test this. Um, according to our nice handy dandy orienteering map, we already have our compass set to 140 degrees southeast. So while we're standing here at marker 13, all we need to do is turn our bodies slowly to find control marker 12. And we're going to put red Fred in the shed. Red Fred is the magnetic needle that is spinning there. And then we are going to stop right there in the shed, which is those two parallel lines. And now our direction of travel arrow right there should be pointing us in the direction of control marker 12, which is roughly about 65 meters from here. It's hard to see, so I'm gonna to try to zoom in. There it is, right there along the fence at the pool parking lot. Now you can try it. You have 11 more markers to try to find in the park, so have fun. So that's all there is to it. All you need is a base plate compass and a printout of the King's Landing orienteering map from the Calvert Parks website. These days we can all use more time outside, so grab some snacks and bring your family over to King's Landing Park here in Huntingtown, Maryland and try it out.